Hi, for this recording, I'm going to show you how to connect the algebraic manipulation of dot product with its geometrical interpretation. The reference I'm going to show is based on Howard Anton's text, chapter 12. First, we call the definition of the dot product. Suppose I have two dimensional vector, u is u1 and u2, v is v1, v2. Then the dot product of u and v, written as u dot v is equal to u1, v1 plus u2, v2. We can also extend it to vector in three dimensional space. Having defined this definition of dot product algebraically, look, let's look at some of the properties in dot product. In particular, I'm going to explain the view about commutative property of dot product. That means u dot v and v dot u. Property A, actually also property D. The length of vector v is v dot v. Let's look at how I do A and B for vector in two-dimensional space. First of all, for part A, to show you by u dot v is equal to v dot u. Because for a two-dimensional vector, suppose u is says u1 i plus u2 j and v is v1 i plus v2 j then u dot v will be equal to according to the definition is u1 times v1 so I have u1 v1 plus u2 times v2 so I have u2 v2 Now, if you take v dot u, that means you're going to take v1i plus v2j dot with u1i plus u2j. After the dot product, I will have v1 u1 multiply, which is equal to v1 u1 plus v2 u2 now this is actually same as u1 v1 plus u2 v2 which is also equal to u dot v this explains property a property d the length of v square equal to v dot v where v1 i plus v2 j equal to v we know that the length of v is v1 square plus v2 square. So the length of v square is v1 square plus v2 square. But then what is v dot v then? Now v dot v we know is equal to v1i plus v2j dot with v1i plus v2j. So when you do the dot product, the v1 times v1, I got v1 square, and then plus v2 times v2, I get v2 square. So you find that the length of v square is equal to v dot v. So this is property D. Now based on this, then I can explain to you the geometrical interpretation of the product now. It says that if you have U and V and the anchor between them is theta, then cosine theta is U dot V over the length of U times length of V. And in fact, if we rearrange them, we have an important definition. Say u dot v is equal to the length of u, the length of v, cosine theta. And this is the geometrical 
interpretation of the top product. Let's examine why this is so. Suppose I have two vector u and v given in the diagram. Then the third side will be v minus u because u plus v minus u will give you v. We use a property of a triangle. If the angle between u and v is theta for a triangle, the length of v minus u square is equal to the length of u square length of v square minus 2 times length of u length of v cosine theta this is actually a property of a triangle if you have a triangle let's say angle theta a b c then c square is equal to a square plus b square minus 2 a b cosine theta and this is called the law of cosine and now we're going to interpret the result further what is the length of, of v minus u first of all we have to understand length of u square is u dot u length of v square is v dot v so how about length of u minus v square so you know this will be u minus v dot with u minus v by using the property d right by, by using the property d i mentioned there d is this one so actually using property d i know the length of u minus v square and u minus v dot u minus v and now we distribute the dot product i get u dot u now and i get u dot u minus u dot v u dot v minus v dot u plus v dot v we know that this is length of u square and this is v dot v is length of v square and using property b u dot v and v dot u are the same so this is minus 2 times of u dot v so the length of u minus v square if the length of u square minus 2 u dot v plus length of v square so now i go back to this property again using the law of cosine so let me rewrite this equation on the left hand side is the length of u minus v square the length of u square plus the length of v square minus 2 length of u length of v cosine theta where theta is angle between u and v and we find out just now earlier in terms of dot product this is the length of u square minus 2 times u dot v as the length of v square I using the dot product earlier and there's the left hand side and the right hand side length of u square length of v square minus 2 length of u length of v cosine theta now we notice that u length of u square cancel with length of u square length of v square cancel with length of v square so eventually we have minus u dot v is equal to minus 2 length of u length of v cosine theta divide both sides of minus 2 then i have this equation very important geometrical interpretation now u dot v is equal to length of u length of v cosine theta u dot v equal to length of u the length of v cosine theta and 
that's the end of the recording.